Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here we are discussing the problem distance coloring all code shift. The problem states that you have n stones in a row numbered from 1 to n. You also have k different colors with you. You know that number of different ways of coloring these n stones with k colors is k to the power n. But there is an extra condition. If mod of j minus i is less than k, then stone i and stone j cannot have the same color. In other words, you cannot have to color two stones with the same color if they have less than k distance apart. So we need to find the number of ways of coloring the stone with extra condition. Since the answer might be large, we output it modulus 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So firstly, this is number of test cases. This is our n and k. So n is 1, k is also 1. If both are 1, suppose we have C1 color as n is 1. And the number of ways of coloring one stone using color C1, we need to ensure that no two stones are at distance less than minus 1. As there is only one stone and one color, so we have only one option to color that stone. Moving on to 1, 2. Here we have two colors, C1 and C2. But we have only one stone. So we can either color it by C1 or by C2. So we have two options for it. Now in case of 2, 1, we have only one color but two stones. So we have only one option here. Now, looking at this logic, we can easily find that, suppose we have k as 8 and our n as n as 4. So, what we need to do is, just we consider first that our answer is 1 and then for all the 4 stones we can take k and decrease k by 1 unit in each step. So suppose we have n equal to 4 and k equal to 8. So our answer would be first answer into k which would be 1 into 8 which gives us 8. And then we check if k is greater than 1, which means k still exists. So we decrease k by 1. So it will be k minus minus, which leads to 7. Then we would update our answer to 8 into 7, which means answer into k. And then again k minus minus, it will bring to 6 and we will multiply by 6 then we move to 5 here we multiply by 5 now this loop is running for n times which is 4 times hence this loop stops here and this value modulus the value which is given as mod that is 10 to the power 9 plus 7 this would be our answer so simplifying all this simply we need to return answer into k and then update k by k minus minus or simply k minus 1 and before updating it just check if k is greater than 1 or not and after all 
we get this total answer don't forget to take the modulus so that the bigger number is minimized and as you can see this gives us the correct answer so i hope you can now code the solution thanks for watching